It's holidays time guys, yes, we are going to Greece, and you know me, before we start the journey I had to open 8 Pokemon cards. We took some Scarlet and Violet and Crown Zenith with me just in case we're not gonna find anything authentic in Greece. So guys, like this video, smash that like button for me if you like what you see, and let's start with the gorgeous pack. And here we go, a gorgeous Toxicroak EX. After this, we jumped on the plane and I obviously had to open a pack of gorgeous Crown Zenith in the air. Like, how often can you actually do this? Guys, let me know in the comments down below, do you actually take Pokemon cards with you on your holidays, on your journeys? Alrighty, amazing Magmortar and a beautiful, beautiful NASA signed card. I love those signed cards, guys. And finally, we are in Lindo, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful city. And we went for a little shopping spree, but I didn't actually buy anything as they all were fake Pokemon cards. They did look so juicy, so if you like stuff like this, go and check my latest short where I actually show in all of the stuff that you can find in Greece in Lindos. Obviously, some more fakes. They, they, they did look cool, I'm not gonna lie, they did look quite cool. So, day number one, and we are already exploring the windows of the lamb. I obviously have to open the pack, guys. That pack wasn't that amazing as the others, but stay with me, we got day two for you. Started with the gorgeous grapes for three of us and some packs that we can really pull anything from them on a beach. But then we went for a little hunt. Guys, we are in Jumbo. Apparently, it's something like Smith's in UK. So let's go and see if they have any actual Pokemon cards. Alrighty guys, we found some actual Pokemon stuff, there's a lot of blocks and we have Pokemon cards, are they actually English? Which I was surprised, I was expecting, I wasn't actually expecting anything and I wasn't really expecting a real Pokemon cards, I thought they would be like fakes like we saw before, but there's some Pokemon Go and there's plants in it, uh, there is the new Sigmizor, interesting. Guys, still we want to fight. <laughs> so this turned out to be, uh, I don't know, B and M. There is literally everything here, guys. They have food, they have toys, they have clothes, everything. Alrighty, guys. So we gone with the stackable tin. Uh, just a little thing. Um, it costs like twenty euros, something like this. So okay, it was a little know. bit. Yeah, it was a little bit. Now let's get into this. And me and Stu, we're gonna have a pack. I don't even know what, what's really in this. I didn't really watch many people opening those. But at least we found some original Pokemon stuff. So, should we pick a pack? Okay. Okay. I have Evolving Skies and there is a Vivid Voltage here. So maybe we let's leave the Vivid Voltage for a little um, short. All right, should we? Let's, let's have a battle. With the Tiltrix. Oh, there is something there. Cheater. I'm not cheating at all. Here you go, guys. Um, one, two, three, four. It's a hollow air. 
Blah, blah, blah. And nice, I got Sylvian VMAX. Guys, absolutely amazing. And I'm very, very surprised that they're actually in English. I was expecting them to be in Greek, like we saw in uh, Fuerteventura. They had all the Spanish ones, and then in Rome, uh, the Italian. So, yeah, all right. The only ones we've seen in Greek are the fake ones, I think. Oh yeah, possibly. Who loves the pool? Froggy does, guys. He had so much fun there, and I obviously had to open another pack. And obviously a gorgeous hitter, Simisa Vista. I didn't pull many Vistas, so I'm quite, quite happy about this. Guys, our journey to Greece was absolutely amazing. We had so, so much fun. Guys, like this and check out my other videos. See you next time in Tommy's Dynamax then.